disc and the journal. How long will it take you to pull this off? I told you when you paged me that I was fast. Mm. Give me like an hour. <laughs> you rock, Albert. <laughs> Whatever. I'll, I'll call you when it's finished. Can you get my coffee? Yeah. How perfect is this guy? <laughs> totally perfect. Bianca's gonna fry over this. Her mom isn't gonna get off either. Wench firing me. And that not Laura. Oh, I know. <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. Is someone going to take our order? <laughs> Mom, what are you doing here? Heather and Mindy came to the house. They brought your knapsacks there, and they told me that you had brought Laura here to the emergency room. She's okay. She just... I know she just refuses to take a drug test. I, I heard that. Why, Laura? Why would you need to take a drug test at all? It's okay. You can... You can tell her. It'll be fine, I promise. I won't take a drug test because I don't need one, Miss Kane. I, I was feeling faint, and so Bianca brought me here. I haven't eaten all day, and so my blood sugar is crashing. And this place is so paranoid about teens on drugs. They won't even deal with me without taking a blood test. And I think that's wrong. I think that's discriminatory. And so... I won't do it. And they won't examine me without a blood test. And all I am is hypoglycemic. Bianca, why aren't you saying anything? Mom, it's... Bianca, is what Laura said true? I mean, you know, you can just say yes. anything to me. She just felt faint. Fine. All right, then I'll, I'll drive you both home. Uh, uh, Bianca mm. drove us here in my car, so I'll drive us home if that's all right. Bianca? Listen, can we have dinner together tonight at home? Yeah, sure. I was really worried about you today. Why? Because I didn't know why you... Both ran out of the high school. I didn't know that, and it has concerned me. Well, everything is fine. Mom. Good. You drive carefully, Laura. I will. All right. I'll uh, see you at home later, then. I'm, I'm going to make a phone call here. I'm going to call the office. and Laura, you call your mother and let her know there's nothing to worry about. I will. I'll see you later, Mom. Bianca, wait, wait. I'm sorry. I didn't mean for you to have to I cover me. I lied to my mother, Laura. I know, I know. I'm sorry. Let's just really? get out of here, okay? Joe! Hello. Oh, America. Joe, who was the attending physician who examined Laura English? Laura was here. I didn't realize that. Oh. I've been taken up with the David Hayward situation. What situation is that? Oh, um, well, he's had an accident, I suppose you could say. An accident? Well, it just gets worse, doesn't it? Is he going to be all right? Erica, I, I just got your message. Look, I, I thought you were out of town. I was in Philadelphia. Is Laura here? Did, did they admit her? No, no, they didn't. Is she okay? Well, Brooke, you're going to have to ask your daughter that. I mean, she said she was fine. Talk. Uh, we talked in the car, Laura. I talked. You hardly said a word. I have a uh, physics exam tomorrow. Yeah, okay, please. Laura, I'm tired. I want you to go. Don't do this. Excuse me, but I am not the one doing anything here, Laura. You took X, you got sick, you freaked out in the ER, you lied to my mother, and when you lied to my mother, Laura, you made me feel like I had to lie to her, too. I'm really, I'm really sorry. Well, sorry isn't good enough. 
I can't do this anymore. Do what? I can't cover for you while you get high. Bianca. No, no, Laura, wait. You, you keep saying that it's no big deal, that X isn't crack or speed or whatever. All I know is that if it's no big deal, why do you keep doing it? So many kids at school are into X, and it makes me scared for all of you. And I don't want to be the school narc, and I don't want to be different from everybody else, but all I know is that I, I watched you almost black out from X, and you took it like 24 hours ago. That's scary, Laura. You hugging me, acting like a pod person is scary, not fun. I don't want to be around drugs, and I don't want to be around my friends when they're on Bianca, them. Bianca, wait. No, you wait. You wait, and you see what this is going to do to you if you keep acting like it's no big deal. I don't want to be your nursemaid when you have a bad trip, and I'm just not cut out for it. I don't want that responsibility. Will you just let me talk? I promise what happened last night and today will never happen again. You're right, it won't. Because I'm not going to be hanging around with you to see it. Albert, Shannon, how much longer is it going to take? We want to log on. Got it. It's online. <laughs> um, what's the web address? www.babycaneexposed.com. Come on. Show me the money. <laughs> Crawling. Oh, yeah, that's it, that's it. Holy crow. Oh, man, that is awesome. Oh, Bianca's gonna die. Wait till she sees this. <laughs> Why wait? What, are you ditching me? I can't be friends with you anymore, Laura. It, it just doesn't work. Bianca, this is crazy. No, I think that... That you need to leave. Oh, come on! Don't call me anymore. Don't talk to me at school. Tell me, what, tell me what to do. Tell me how. Bianca, just, just let the damn phone ring. Hello. Shannon, is that you? Shannon. 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 Stop. Laughing. What did you say? Log on where? What'd she say? I, I couldn't even understand her. She was laughing so much. Those girls were in the background. Heather and Mindy? They were laughing like they used to, Laura. Before. What is it? They said to log on to some website, Baby Kane Exposed. Where's your laptop? what's going on. I got this message from you that my daughter is in the emergency room, which scared me half to death, so I run over here like a mad woman, and now you're telling me that, that Laura is fine? Well, that's what she said. <sighs> Look, Brooke, I am only reporting what I was told, okay? I mean, I saw Laura and, and Bianca for a total of about two minutes. They, they left together, and then Laura was driving. Well, why were they here in the first place? Well, Laura said that she was hypoglycemic or something. Hypoglycemic? Since when? Well, Brooke, she's your daughter. Did a doctor diagnose her, or...? Actually, no, she self-diagnosed. Apparently, Laura told the doctor what she thought was wrong with her, and, uh, they jumped to the conclusion that she was a teen with a drug problem. And they wanted her to test for drugs, but she became offended and she stalked out. And that's it. Well, she left with Bianca. They were driving home. That's what I know. Well, it, 
It doesn't make any sense, okay? Actually, Brooke, no, your daughter wasn't making much sense. I don't know what's wrong with her. I really don't. But she did appear to be a nervous wreck. And uh, I think maybe it's because she is going through a crisis and her mother was nowhere to be found. Do not go down that road with me now. Brooke, I am only you... saying... Look, do you happen to know if Laura was going to stay with Bianca at your house? I really don't know that. I know that their knapsacks were there, and so they went to pick them up. All right, thank you so much. Lovely. <sighs> Typical and lovely. Thanks. Come on, guys.